everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to make a really short, quick video about my first quarter goals. I'm gonna take a page out of Rinsey's annual goals that she has turned into quarter goals, and particularly the goals that I ended up picking um, to focus on in the first quarter, I don't think are things that I might want to be working on the whole year, so that's why I focused them on just this first quarter. So without further ado, here they are. So number one is probably of no surprise if you've been watching my last few videos. I've been talking a lot about short story collections. I have been reading some that I've been liking, so that's definitely something that I want to work on in the new year. So in the first three months of 2021, I want to read at least two short story collections. If I read more, then cool, but two is my minimum that I'm really hoping to complete. And I think what I'm trying to gain from this is to figure out what it is that I look for in short story collections. I really like short story collections that are basically like what I like to read in fiction, but just in smaller chunks so I want them to be a little bit more serious um, and a little bit more hard-hitting I guess so I'm going to read a few hopefully that will be good ones and then I can keep just figuring out what I'm looking for when I read them goal number two is to try two more and that's the number I'm going for this one as well two more Agatha Christie-esque mysteries and by that I mean the style of her writing, her type of characters, her type of time periods or her type of tropes that she likes to use. There's a few authors that I'm going to look into to see if maybe they would satisfy this. I'm currently reading Moonflower Murders by Anthony Horowitz and I would really compare him to Agatha Christie and I think other people have compared him to Agatha Christie and I'm really enjoying his book so I want to read more like those that have like this cottage feel. They're a little bit more small town and and the mystery is a little bit the things that are happening it's not a fast-paced read per se so that's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm looking for an Agatha Christie-esque mystery novel so some authors that I've been thinking about trying out include Ruth Ware, Lucy Foley, and Dorothy L. Sayers for example but I also feel like I've only read maybe one or two Agatha Christie novels so that's something that I would want to read more from so maybe one of those two Agatha Christie-esque mystery novels that I'm going to read in the first quarter um, are going to be actual Agatha Christie novels. So that's the second one and this is in the same caliber of what I'm trying to get at with the short story collection goal. I want to actually pinpoint what it is that I look for in a mystery because I feel like mysteries and I have had an interesting relationship in 2020 that has been kind of like all over the place where some books I really like some aspects of them and then I really hate other aspects of them and I've rated many mysteries two, two and a half, three, and three and a half stars this year and I haven't really found that many that I've rated four stars or more. And then the final goal is that I want to read three more Newberry contenders. The Newberry is decided at the end of January so hopefully I read this towards the beginning of the quarter just so that I have a few more that I've read that I can look forward to when it comes to them finally announcing who wins the award. But I'm hoping to read three more. I haven't decided which yet. I've shown you some in the past few videos that I, I have on my person but I haven't I haven't read yet. So those are my goals. Um, number one, to read two short story collections, to read two Agatha Christie-esque mystery novels, and also to read three more Newberry contenders that I've seen on lists so far this past year. Let's see how I do and I'll come back and let you know towards the end of the first quarter. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.